what's going on with the economy and the housing market nationally and right here locally in Santa Cruz. Let's look at what the experts are predicting for our economy. I know it's a very scary time and with all the negative press and the doom and gloom mentality, I feel it's more important than ever to look at what the experts are actually saying. Hi, I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert. I always get asked what's happening in the real estate market? What's happening with houses? What's going to happen to our economy and should we be thinking about buying or selling right now right here in Santa Cruz? Well, let's take a look at what's actually happening on the national level as it does affect our local Santa Cruz market. According to Sam Cater, chief economist of Freddie Mac, and I quote, Although the uncertainty of the crisis means forecasts of economic activity are more unclear than usual, we expect that most of the economic damage from the virus will be contained to the first half of the year. Going forward, we should see a recovery starting the second half of 2020. And locally, right here in Santa Cruz, we're seeing home buyers out in full force. Remember, now we have about eight months of pent up buyer demand. So housing inventory remains low with a quick turn time, meaning that the Santa Cruz homes that come on the market are selling very quickly. Again, our MLS has frozen the days on market, so that data is not currently accurate, but I can do a case by case scenario. But what I can tell you from my experience is that some Santa Cruz homes are selling in one or two weeks of market time and other homes are actually selling even before they hit the MLS or the active market. We are seeing multiple offers on some Santa Cruz properties and the market really is moving rather quickly. With interest rates lower than we have ever seen them, Santa Cruz home buyers can actually afford more than they could in the beginning of the year when interest rates were about a whole percentage point higher than what we're seeing right now. Also, more good news is that the equity amongst homeowners is strong. According to John Burns Consulting, 42.1% of homeowners own their home free and clear, meaning there's no mortgage on their homes. 16.6% .6 of Americans have between 60 and 99% equity in their homes, and only 7.3% of Americans have less than 10% equity in their homes. This is very different than what we saw back in 2008 when many people used their homes as an ATM. That isn't happening right now. Homeowners seem to have learned that lesson and now 58.7% of all Americans have at least 60% equity, which will help offset the housing crisis. This is good news for Americans. Also, rents continue to go up. We have seen an upward tick in rents since 1988 and they are still continuing to rise. This again promotes buyers wanting to purchase as they don't get the tax advantages and other benefits of home ownership when they choose to rent. Also, more good news is that in the first few months of the year, showing rates, which shows us how many homes that are for sale are being shown, the showing rates continued to increase until around the week of March 8th, when showings took a huge dive as many areas had shelter in place and were not allowed to actually show or look at homes. However, since the week of April 12th, we are seeing showing rates of homes is starting to significantly increase as the shelter in place restrictions are being lifted or easing up. Your local Santa Cruz market update and what is happening in our local Santa Cruz real estate market is now a good time to buy or sell a home right here in Santa Cruz County. Well, we are seeing new listings come on the market. So if you are a Santa Cruz home buyer and you're considering purchasing a new home, there is new inventory to shop and historically low interest rates to take advantage of. We currently, as of the time of this video, have 374 active homes on the market. That's including both single family homes as well as condos and townhomes in all of Santa Cruz County. There are 309 Santa Cruz homes that are pending and the median price point for Santa Cruz home sales, including single family homes as well as condos and townhomes is at $850,000. We are technically still considered to be in a seller's market to, due to the absorption rate 
The absorption rate in the real estate market is used to evaluate the rate at which available homes are sold in a specific market during a given time period. It is calculated by dividing the number of homes sold in the allotted time period by the total number of available homes. So the absorption rate in Santa Cruz is hovering around 2.7 months. This means if we did not add any more new inventory, we would sell out of Santa Cruz homes in 2.7 months. Experts believe that anything less than a six month inventory level would be considered a seller's market and anything over would be considered a buyer's market. I hope you have found this helpful. I hope that it is informative. As always, if you have any questions, I am here and happy to help. I am ready to set up a complimentary confidential con consultation. So please reach out. I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert, and I hope you're staying safe and sane.